Hello and welcome to another edition of Answering Your English Grammar Questions. Today's question, how can we use the comma in a list? How can we use the comma in a list or in lists? A comma, to remind you, is a short pause between different parts of a sentence and we can see what the comma looks like. Commas help to make the meaning of sentences clear. And they do this by separating and grouping words, phrases, or clauses. Today's question specifically looks at the use of the comma in a list. And here we can see a practical example. She packed her bag and in it she put her toothbrush, toothpaste, comb, notebook, and her smartphone. It makes it easy to read the list. We can reformat it using bullet points, of course, but we are talking about English grammar and not English presentation grammar. Now, in the sentence below, how many people are there? Finally, I want to thank my parents, Henry and Mary. Of course, if you listen to the sentence, my parents, Henry and Mary, we know that there are two people in the sentence and that my parents in this example are named Henry and Mary. But just by using a comma, we change the meaning of the word, uh, the sentence, pardon. Finally, I want to thank my parents, comma, Henry and Mary. So not only my parents, but also Henry and also Mary, just using the comma change the meaning of the sentence. Look at this example. The television program includes an interview with Sherlock Holmes, a thousand-year-old mummy and a famous chef. If you read the sentence, it seems as if Sherlock Holmes is a thousand-year-old mummy and a famous chef. And we know Sherlock Holmes, so we know that that's not true. It's because there was a missing comma. The television program includes an interview with Sherlock Holmes, a thousand-year-old mummy, comma, and a famous chef. Now we know that the program has three parts. Three parts. Holmes, mummy, and chef. And the comma here, before the and in and a famous chef, is known as the Oxford comma, and that's today's grammar alert. The Oxford comma is the comma that we get before the AND to make the meaning of a sentence perfectly clear. My favorite flavors of ice cream are vanilla, caramel, salted caramel, and rum and raisin. Rum and raisin is a one common combination, and that does not need a comma. But let me just go back to the slide. If we did not have the Oxford comma, it would sound like my favorite flavors of ice cream are vanilla, caramel, salted caramel, and rum and raisin. See, instead of vanilla, caramel, salted caramel, and rum and raisin. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure that you get videos like this. They are free of charge. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.